Hey guys, this is going to be my first video on how to use the plugins in a bucket server after uh, I promised to in my first how to make a bucket server video. Um, I showed you guys how to make a basic uh, bucket server, which is this. And I showed you how to install plugins and how to start it up. So, first things first, you're going to go into... I'm going to teach you how to use essentials this time. And I'm going to show you Big Brother. So, um, here we go. So you're going to go into your whatever Minecraft server you had for Bucket. And you're going to go into your Plugins folder. And in your Plugins folder, you will see Chat Manager, Essentials, Modify World, if you installed the plugins I said to, Permissions X, Plugin Metrics, and World Edit. Um, for this video, I'm going to be going over Essentials, and I'll be going over Permissions X, World Edit, and Chat Manager, and others. So, here we go. Open up Essentials, and you'll see these five things. Um, this, I'm going to go over them from bottom to top, because, or I'm actually going to go through these three, and I'll go over these two, and then this one. So, first I'm going to go over the thing called Worth. Now, what Worth is, um, you're going to need some type of source code editor. I use Notepad++. You're going to need these for most plugins. Um, I'm going to open this up. And it's going to open up whatever it it has every single uh, thing in the game that... Uh, it's it, it has a lot of things that you can sell to the server in here. By sell to the server, what they this is just showing out how much the server will buy it for. It's like if they do, if they do this command right here, if they do forward slash worth, then and then they type in the thing they're holding in their hand, then the thing that will come up, uh, like if they let's say they're holding diamond boots in their hands and they do forward slash worth, then it'll tell them how much money that. Uh, item in their hand the diamond boots is is worth so in this I'm going to be showing you how to change that and it's actually extremely simple so let's say you want to buy a stone button you're you want your server to buy a stone button but you don't want it to buy it for six you want it, it's like that's way too expensive you don't want people making that much money on your server so you want to change it down to I don't know two dollars so you're going to type in 2.0 and then that'll change it to uh, that'll change it to two dollars within your uh, server. So when people do slash worth now, once you save it, it'll say that it's two dollars instead of um, six dollars. So another thing, let's say you don't want to sell a fishing rod. You don't want fish people buying fishing rods. You don't want people selling fishing rods on your server. You have no need to catch fish or anything like that. So you'd select it all. And then you'd hit delete and backspace it until like close up the gap. And then you ha you're not buying um, fishing rods anymore. And when you when it uh, when a sorry my my head is going nuts right now. Okay. Um. When they do slash worth, it says the server does not buy this uh, object. And yeah. So that's basically all you need to know for this. Um. Yeah. So let's move on. To save it, you just do forward slash. Uh, you just X out, and then you hit save file. Yes, and then that's how you save them. So next thing I'm going to show you is upgrades done. Now, honestly, I don't even know why I'm showing you this because it really doesn't mean anything. Um, like I, there's really, really, literally nothing you can do here, and I'm not even going to bother explaining it because you don't have anything to do there anyway. So yeah, we're going to go into the next big file, which is config.yml. In config.yml, there's when I was learning how to do this, there was all these green um, notes in it. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is a lot. Of, this looks really, really complicated, but it's really not. So I'm basically going to tell you what this is telling you. So here we go. Um, so for ops, like, uh, let, let's see. Um, let me think. Okay, you know how if you op someone, their name turns red? Yes, this is where you can change that. Now, to cha oh, to show you what color you can use, 
you'll go to this site go on to whatever you use to search and then you type in um actually i'll get back okay, to you when so I get there. this is where you would be it's called formatting codes uh, sorry about that that was a bit un like you know like i don't know what i'm doing but anyway this is what um basically formatting codes are if you look right here it says zero one two three four five six seven whatever 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 um basically if you want um you can go into your uh, your no your source code editor and you would change that this like let's say you want it you don't want dark red for your opt then you would change and you want it like I don't know dark green then you would change this for to a two and if you don't want them to have any color at all then like if they want you want them to look like regular players then you would type in n o n e none so yeah I'm gonna keep that on four because I really don't care um so this right here um basically if if uh okay let me start over this once a person types in the command forward slash nick and then they type in whatever name they want like let's say I do that then my nickname would be heavy heavy whatever okay and so what this is is a uh, some type of symbol that goes right before the, whatever nickname there is so that you can tell that they're true they're not that's not really their username it's a nickname that they have for themselves um yeah that's basically all that is and if you don't want that then you can just do that and then type in n o n e and yeah so i'm going to keep that on the squiggle okay uh you don't really have to worry about this let's see okay right here teleport cooldown um, let's say someone does slash home, and then you don't want them to be able to do slash home again for like I don't know ten seconds. Then you would change that to sla uh, you change it to ten, or if you want to change it to a higher number, whatever it doesn't really matter. But if you don't want any um, cooldown, then you could just hit zero. Um, teleport delay. Basically, if you don't want someone to teleport home or teleport warp away in the middle of a combat then you would change that to like 7 or 10 so that they can't just boom teleport instantly um so teleport and invulnerability uh i wouldn't mess with that i'd keep that how is it how it is but yeah um heal like cooldown that's how many times they can like doing the slash heal right here says that um slash heal to kill yourself and it's just an attempt so if you want it to take a minute for them to be able to do slash heal again then that's what it is uh yeah um let's see mob spawn you don't have to worry about that none of this don't worry about any of that don't worry about any of that i'll go over that later uh no, no, no. okay right here um essential sign control Basically, what this is is it's for um, it's uh, so that uh, you have a sign for that you can use for commands, kind of like uh, shops and things like that. So if you want to make be able to have shops, then you would do you'd backspace uh, these uh, hashtags and um, yeah. So if you want to be able to buy and sell, then you just do that and you do that and you able to buy and sell and if you want to be able to trade you can do that if you want to have a disposal can or a disposal sign you'd backspace out of that if you want to have warp signs you'd backspace out of that if you want to have mail signs you'd backspace out of that and so on and so forth so um yeah that one's pretty easy to understand um for the most part that's uh, auto afk if they're gone for like 300 minutes or 300 seconds then it'll automatically set them as afk um and if you don't want them to have any time at at all like if they if you don't want them to have an if you don't want an auto afk you would just change that to negative one yep okay so i'm gonna keep that 300 auto afk kick basically what this is is if they're gone for i don't know 17 minutes and you're you don't want your server getting clogged up because you only have 16 slots you change that to whatever time you want and set it to like 300 so after 300 seconds, if they haven't moved, then they'll be kicked from the server, and then someone else can join. 
points, and if you don't want it at all, just keep the negative one. And the freeze AFK players, basically, it gives them um, god mode, and basically they can't be killed if they do slash AFK. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all that is. Um, and if they don't, if once they get back, they can just do slash AFK again, and then they'll be ungodded and everything, so. And if you don't want the people to use that to their advantage, just set this for, like, 30 sec 300 seconds or whatever. Um, disable item and pick up while people are gone. So, you, so people can't, like, sit there in their mob traps where, like, mob spawners on Skyblock or something, and, uh, Okay, Disa uh, disable item pickup while AFK, that's pretty obvious. I'm not going to sit there and explain that. Basically, if you don't want people sitting there in mob traps, um, just letting the things fall to them, then yeah, that's what you'd use that for. Uh, let's see. Cancel AFK on interacts. Don't worry about that. Um, well, yeah, you just set that to true. Like, if someone is AFK and they hit something, then, then it'll say they're back. Uh, yeah. Um... Cancel AFK on move, that's pretty simple to understand. Death messages, um, if you want someone to say, it, like if someone dies and they would say, th this person died, and yeah, so. Um, don't worry about that. Um, oversized stack size, you could just change that to like 104 or something like that. It's just change the stack sizes. Uh, da -da 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 -da. None of this really matters anymore. Did did better did time fall and stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, here we go. Max amount of money they can have is ten trillion dollars. You could change that to like infinite in amount. Uh I'd keep it at 10 trillion if I were you, but, um, yeah. Mm, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want, uh, economy log, basically, uh, what that is, is it, is it sh you log all of the interactions with the economy. Um, and I'll go over essentials chat later. So, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know for it now. And this one, yeah, this is gonna be one of the bigger ones anyway, so... Um, I'll save it, yeah. And that's how you do that. Um, also, uh, this is the page for Essentials. I'll leave it down in the description to do it. Just download, click the download button, and then lead on for that. So, yeah. Um, let's see. What else do I need to go over? Essentials protect. Okay, warps. Once you set a warp, that's where this is going to be set. You want to delete a warp, go in here, and then, uh, like, let's say you have a warp in here, and a text document. It is, like, just go like this, and... Let's say that's a warp and you don't want it anymore, you just do slash, uh, right click, delete, yes. And that warp doesn't exist anymore, you could just, or, you could stay inside the game and just type in this command right here. Do forward slash del warp, and then whatever the name of the warp is. So if you want to get rid of nfjag baka, then you just do slash del warp nfjag baka, and then the nfjag baka is gone, okay? Yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about Essentials. Um, I'll go over Permissions X in the next video. And then after that, I'll go over World Edit. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about this plugin. Um, like I said, I'll go over the other ones later. And yeah, so. If you guys have any problems, don't just put in... Don't put a comment in the... Um, video saying I need help and when I say okay send me a message with your help don't say anything back or send a message okay if anybody complains and doesn't send me a message then I'm going to delete your comment on my video that's I'm just getting tired of it so if you have a problem send me a send me a uh, message on YouTube okay that's all you need to do and I will help you out I respond to all my messages yeah Okay, that's pretty much all you need to know, so see ya.